right, so one of the small businesses uh, that you can start in the next 30 days is wholesaling houses. Excuse me, I'm left-handed, that's very messy, but wholesaling houses. Um, and what I want to start with, because I talked about finding customers and how you really want to see if you can solve a problem uh, first to start to attract those uh, <clears throat> potential customers. This is the businesses that I'm in. And these are the problems that allow me to make money. So inherited. Somebody uh, had a house just drop on their lap and they don't want it. Divorce. Now it's left to one person that can't pay for the mortgage themselves. Relocation. Someone may have got a job transfer and now they live out of the area and they have a house just sitting there. Loss of job. Okay, of course, now you can't afford uh, to pay for the home anymore or the monthly uh, notes. Illness. I see that with a lot of elderly people. They get sick and they just can't, you know, uh, just keep up with the house and all of the maintenance that is required when you when you have a house downsizing you know people may have had a big house with a few kids and the kids are grown went to college and now they don't need all the space expensive repairs all right it just costs too much they can't afford it all by themselves okay so these are some problems that allow you to make money in wholesaling houses so who are your customers the owners of these problems you want to look for the owners of these problems and how are you going to find these people? Uh, you're basically going to uh, do certain things like uh, put up marketing to communicate that you buy houses that are inherited, uh, divorce, relocation, uh, downsizing, any condition. I know you've seen the, the signs that say we buy houses. You ever seen that? You ever seen the ads on uh, social media? So that's what that this is. This is, um, use it on social media. You see it on billboards. We buy ugly houses. You see all of these marketing campaigns <clears throat> because this is the problem it's solving. Uh, this is, we're marketing because we solve these problems. <clears throat> and how, this, And this is how we make money with this, with this business. So what you do is you send out your target message. This can be a postcard. You can send a mailer to someone. This is a postcard with a stamp, okay? To the owners of these addresses, people that own properties that are going through this. But ideally, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you how you cash a check. Show you how to get a bag. So you wanna find an owner of a home, okay? The very first thing you want to do is you want to understand how to find a great, I mean, uh, how to calculate a great, uh, great deal. So this is going to be step number two. All right. Step number one is going to be how to uh, decide what a good deal is. So a good deal is going to be whatever this house is worth all fixed up. You want to be able to uh, multiply that times seven. So 70 percent of what this house is really worth. So let's say this is a hundred thousand dollar house. Okay, for good numbers, 70% of that is going to be 70% 70, 70,000. All right, <clears throat> so you're going to take 100k, you're going to multiply it times 0. 0.7. Okay, and that's going to give you 70, 70k. Okay? And what you want to do with this is you want to subtract your assignment fee, um, which a good number is anywhere from five to 10. So let's subtract another 10K off of it. And now you have 60K, all right? This right here, how you make money in this business, if you can find the owner of this home and offer them 60K for this home, it's worth 100,000. If they agree to sell you this house for 60K, you can turn around and find someone that's willing to pay 70K for it. And you're going to collect the difference of 10K in the middle without putting any of your own money up, uh, without using any of your cash or any of your credit. So number one is going to be uh, 
uh, know how to evaluate a great deal. And a great deal is going to be something that's 70% of what that house really will sell for. Um, a good thing to do is look at the tax appraisal value. That's a good indicator if you don't, you know, if you're not uh, well uh, versed on how to pull comps. So look at the tax appraisal value, multiply times 0.7, then subtract however much you want to make. Take that number and see if you can get the homeowner. Okay, this is the person that is reloc his divorce or something like that. They have the problem. All right, they have a problem, and usually selling this house is usually uh, the uh, attached to the problem. So if you can get this homeowner to sell you this house for sixty k, in the event that you know it's worth a hundred thousand, uh, the ARV. Um, the full retail value you if you can get them to sell you this house for 60k and you find another investor who's willing to buy it for 70k you'll make ten thousand dollars in the middle just like that without fixing up this house without putting any money down without going to the bank and that's the business that I'm in and uh, you know you can check out my YouTube for more uh, information and more kind of like tips and everything, Brian Arigbu, um, and you know, we help people all the time, video testimonials of how these people are so happy that you were able to solve their problem. Um, but that's kind of, this is the lowest barrier to entry of how you can get started making money in real estate. Of course, there's fix and flipping, of course, there's building houses. Um, there's so many different avenues, uh, but <clears throat> the biggest one is knowing what a great deal looks like, Okay, going and find these people that have problems, all right, getting it under contract, getting them to, okay, a contract for them to sell you the house at a great discount. And once you have that uh, contract, go and find someone that's willing to pay more and get uh, paid at closing. Don't let this intimidate you. It's no different than selling candles or selling t-shirts all it is is you're getting someone to pay more for something than you were able that it cost you to get it okay it's just more zeros attached on the end you know so we got see i left off the three zeros more zeros on the end and uh more paperwork involved and of course you have the uh ins and outs of you know kind of knowing the condition of the property but um that's a simplified version of you know real estate and uh, just think about if you can turn 10 deals like this a month, what, that's uh, $100,000 a month, $1.2 million a year, if I'm not mistaken. I might, might have chopped, chopped up the math. But uh, I, I have close friends that are, you know, doing those type of numbers. But um, this is what you can, you know, this is a business that you can start. Um, but hope that helped. Um, hope to this give you some type of idea of how you can start making money in real estate with uh, no real estate license, no money, no credit, and so on. Uh, but until until later, uh, Brian Rigby signing out.